out, everyone. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I was so agile. Welcome to the Cart Rides. We're a family of five travelling to the most remote places our beautiful country has to offer in our home on wheels. It's not just any home though. In our humble little opinion, we think it's the coolest house in Australia. You know why? Because we go anywhere in this thing, whether it be the beach or the bush outback, the desert, or even the mountain tops. Anywhere we go, you just know you're going to find us somewhere in the thick of it. Our dream since the day my husband and I met has been to touch all corners of this land. And now, to be able to share it with our children makes us pinch ourselves every bloody day. How else do we put it? We love our life and we truly believe we're the luckiest and happiest people on the planet. Sharing this dream of ours, we really wouldn't have thought that so many would be interested. But the support from our community has now prompted us to share more. So, as promised, here's our life. Buckle up and we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. This week, Dad gets a, I mean, Ellis gets a new toy just in time for the Fink Desert Race. I prove my agility in high jump by clearing the boys out of the caravan with ease before taking on old wives' tales to cure snotty noses throughout the family and end things with a hike for both the big rig and all of us. Sit back and relax. This one's going to be a nice, slow change of pace for a change. Carrying on from two weeks ago, before our rig rundown, we got stuck in a big way. After finally getting ourselves out, the next thing to do was see what damage we had done. Three weeks later. We limped back to Alice and uh, pretty much they fit us straight in. We dropped the truck, truck stayed in, straight in so we didn't clean anything off or anything. This is my Max trucks. Ten better days. We're missing teeth and whatnot. I'm wooden upward. We'll be fine. Play on. Tell you what, babe, we don't normally plug anyone. <laughs> Within the first 10 minutes, I broke my shovel that I had from Bunnings. And this navigator shovel last, outlasted me. I broke it before that did. Look, it's seen better days, and that's a bit. But it saved our life, didn't it? Yeah. Navigator, well done. New shoes? What are you doing? Actually pooping. <laughs> I was hoping you weren't going to shed light on Max's pooping. That's my shoe. Put my shoe on. Remember the pick? I was digging underneath. <laughs> it was a rough night. They're all fl all the memories are flowing oh, back to me. Again, too, with this shirt. <laughs> Disheveled. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna clean this thing up. Deserves some love, and I'm so happy to have it back. I'll never treat you like this again, baby. You didn't treat me like anything. <laughs> <laughs> ah. We're safe. We're fine. Life's good. Dada, you wanna come up and say good day? That's my shoe. I don't know. What's our plans next? I don't know. It's all happened. We got it back. I don't know. We'll continue now. So long story short, the CV front front right CV let go, and well, no, it exploded. Let's not let's not name fingers and point. It's my fault for getting us stuck. There was no domestics, and uh, our relationship is intact despite me trying to ruin it. Because whilst we waited, we got lots of housekeeping done, cleaning, winch removal, and bought Ellis a Pee Wee 50 just in time for the Fink Desert Race. Congratulations to Wilder who slept through on the first for the first time in <laughs> he's like, forever. He's, like he is. Yeah, he's about 12 years old now. Anyway, I'll be quick because everyone's excited. We are. That's the racetrack for the Fink. 
insert pink joke here. I th How many jokes have I said? I think you should just let me do the video. <laughs> the sun's there. Uh, anyway, in about 20 minutes time, there's gonna be buggies flying past there. And I reckon the boys and girls in the bed over here might get a little bit excited. What happened? Was that cool? <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, How cool is Baba that? Said again? <laughs> again? Again? There'll be more in a sec, mate. He's so far ahead, huh? Well, it doesn't really work like that, but yeah. But like, I, I mean, like, there's not going to be more for a little bit. Uh, no, they'll come pretty much straight away. Also, that was the sexiest car I've ever seen. <laughs> I forgot to look. I was That's so it. excited. We're selling the truck. <laughs> um, Ellis was about to cry. He's so excited. I think. Yeah, he was pretty stoked, wasn't he? You want to see more, Bubba? Long story short, for those that don't know what the Fink was, because I didn't know what the Fink was until like a year and a half ago, two years ago, it's a motorbike and buzzy, buggy race through the desert. So it starts at Alice Springs, weaves its way down through the desert to Alice, to, to Fink, and then it works its way back from Fink to Alice over two days. They have other time trials and things like that. But that there is literally the racetrack. That there is literally my wife <laughs> I'm sneaking up on me. <laughs> you asked for Ibit, so there's some Ibit. Thank you. Happy dad. Yeah. Happy fine. And we are literally going to watch this. So Toby Price started first this morning. If you don't know who Toby Price is, look him up. He's pretty good. Drives very fast. We're going to be watching him come through first within the next 10 minutes, I reckon. Next five to 10 minutes. So he will literally, he's going to be 30 meters away, flying along this straight here with a little bit of a whoop section just here. A whoop section's like a bumpy section in the road. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, Papa was just out there having a look. It's literally like a bumpy whoop section. It's going to be epic. And look how excited the boys are. They're flying. Oh, they've stopped. Well, in his jam, he's playing in the red dirt. This is so exciting. He's got no pants on. <laughs> anyway, the next time I'll see ya, I'm gonna try and get Toby Price flying past us at 350 million kilometers an hour. Coffee up! Wife, this one's yours. Malcolm, coffee up! Coffee up! <laughs> A spat in the mother-in-law's coffee. Don't tell her. Yeah, Nana. The vultures are swarming. What's up? What do you want? You want a milk? I'll get you a milk, mate. How yeah, good? Broke you by the track. A couple of snags, some eggs. It's really, really bloody fast, bud. What a life, eh? What a life we live. You gotta pinch yourself. I have watched Toby Price fly past me at 450 million K this morning. That was a slight exaggeration, but he was moving. He was bloody moving. Whoa, 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 whoa! Missing his front wheel, boys. Look, there's a race car on the back of the truck. What? His wheel come off, mate. Oh. Like crossing Oz. He doesn't know how to tighten his wheel nuts. <laughs> Look out, he's coming through. Waving, everyone waving. Whoa! To let everyone know that he's okay. He's not okay though. Yeah, but he's not like so. If he was really hurt, or if the okay wasn't on the back, maybe another race would stop and help him or something. Also, I made that up just now. Completely made it up. We don't yeah, know. That's why I didn't Sounds
Well, we're back on the road and Mum's at it again. <laughs> I'm really falling for this place. <laughs> we've just pulled up here. in the McDonald's ranges <laughs> and as you just seen, Mum's bunny hopping the kids while they have something to eat. <laughs> we're exploring the McDon McDonald ranges. We're probably going to end up down somewhere near Uluru, whether we get that far or not. Who knows? If mum keeps it up, we're going to end up in a hospital. <laughs> it's the only place we'll end up. <laughs> we haven't had to go to a hospital yet in our travels, so I could be the first one. Yeah. Or it would be good if it was me to be the first It'll one. It would be also good if I'd get the GoPro to sit still. Oh, wow, well, Dad. Yeah, you've really found yourself funny. Oh, hey, look, I've still got it, haven't I? <laughs> anyway, welcome back. <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared for this. I really don't want to be digging myself out to two in the morning now. Nah, you're alright. Trust got, you, Dad. I'll go have a look. I can see, I can see Cam. It. It's about 200 metres. Nah, I've got to drop the tyres. There's no, we're not making it through that. Yeah, I'll go fast, eh, bud? I'll go really fast, but I've got to drop the tyres first because we're not getting through that. Oh. <laughs> so there's a chicken track up and around. But we just let our tyres down, so I'm not taking that. But there's a very strong possibility we're getting stuck. It's very soft. Get the shovel ready. Just try and putt through it, because we're not going to get the momentum. It's like a 400 metre stretch of soft sand, so... Also, I could just be sensible and go back and around the track. But nah. Again, famous last words. <laughs> oh. Everyone ready? No. <laughs> Wild has got those yeah, bits all over his forehead. He's like, what? No, I don't. Hold on, boys, it's gonna get bumpy. Stick. Are we gonna hit that? This is the Just oldest cleared. river bed in the world. Oldest river in the world, and yes. we're cruising along it. In the world or in, in Australia? The world. No, in the world. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. how old is it? Seven million years. There's one lady down, down the end, just sunbaking by herself in like the most prime position. It's like, we'll just the, run over. yeah, there's the we're most. Pretty, we're pretty high. We can probably just roll over the top of her. She won't even know. I reckon, so... I reckon the different slap her on the nose. <laughs> or we could just raise our airbag. Seriously, it's literally like prime <laughs> position. And it's like, there's a fire pit like right on the water there. But... And she's just laying by herself, taking up three cans off. Was she in like a tent? No, by herself, just laying just down laying there, there. Oh, on the But also, the sun's not even out now. Yeah, I don't know. We indeed managed to snag that lady's prime position. After doing a loop on our way back past, she was leaving. I promise she's not under the truck. So, every time we get sick, everyone's got a snotty nose, sore throat, headaches. Mum thinks the sun fixes us, so we're outside all day, we just chill out. Living her best life. We get a fire going, get the camp oven going, and we uh, we make a stew and we all just chill out. Me and Mum might have a beer. I know that doesn't help, but apparently the sun fixes us. Time but, will tell. But I'm the only one that's not sick, so I can have a beer. Yeah, but you never get sick. <laughs> exactly. It's always us. As soon as the kids get sick, I get sick. Yeah. And I get the man flu and I drop for ages. Well, I'll have a beer for all of us. <laughs> I'll get this fire going.
It's go time. I'm uh, gonna try and set this up whilst babysitting two kids near a river. Babysitting? Is it babysitting if you're their dad? Does that count? Are you ready for this? This is gonna smell good. I'm excited about eating that. Believe it or not, part two of cooking in a camp oven is often the hardest. It involves sitting back, having a beer. It also involves trying it and just relaxing. Oh yeah, and we've had a couple of taste testers, but they're not meant to know that, babe. I've been able to taste bloody good. Sitting back, relaxing, watching the fire. Someone's gotta do it though. Mm, someone's gotta do it. As I said, we're just kicking back and relaxing today. We don't feel too great. Kids don't feel too great. They're all snotty and whatnot. Ugh. Tomorrow we'll be back in action. Whoa, wildy. Oh, that one got me. <laughs> Yeah, mate. Baby. Uh. <laughs> Let me show you. Our response to this, how yummy it is. Let me know how it goes. Oh, it's hot, that's hot. Right. Yeah, I'm worried about that. Eating cam. Good work, Dab. Amazing, Dab. That's so tender as well. That is so nice. Good. What do you yeah. reckon? <laughs> Go, Wilder. Oh, that's the baby's one. Put it in your mouth. What? Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Skimming rocks into the sunset, we snuggle into bed nice and early to rest up and shake this sickness. Anyone count that? Like 17. We need a slow motion replay. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> birdie! It's a big birdie, isn't it? Oh, it's the rascals. The rascals. <laughs> Cook us a steak, babe. It's me. Mate, so we've made it. We're finally back from the dead. No. We were out for the count for a good solid, I don't know, couple of days, hey, babe? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I still never got sick though, did I? No. Okay, <laughs> I was out for the count. And the boys. We've made it to Fink Gorge National Park and look at where we're staying, mate. It's beautiful. 
bloody epic. That's the river just there. The last spot we stayed at, we stayed on the Fink River as well. But this gorge, it weaves all the way down. We're actually gonna take the river. You can drive along the river and whack our way down to the Kings Canyon. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the river that, I, uh, that we're traveling down, literally traveling through the middle of, is the Fink River. It's actually the oldest river in the world. We stayed on it up in the McDonald Ranges. We stayed on the river there, but this, it flows down all the way through the gorge here, all the way through Fink Gorge. And when you pop out down the other end of the river, you can turn right down to Kings Canyon or you can turn left and go and have a look at some meteorite craters. But uh, yeah, I'm bloody excited to trek this rig through that river. rocks just fall they look like they're just hanging on and you got like why are there palm trees down here ones that are barely hanging on. That's incredible. How bloody speck is this place? The lady says, the, the National Park Service says, yeah, it's just a nice 20 minute drive just down there. It's like, how does anyone even get in here? It's ridiculous. This is so cool. So, so cool. Look how red the bloody rock is. Let's go. Bye, Brum Brum Bike. It says it's a one hour walk. Right, this this kid's still playing in the puddles. <laughs> Your turn, Bubba. I, this is going to end in chaos. <laughs> Ready? Set Go! And walk down sensibly. Go, go, go. Oh, it's going to be What is that? There's purple flowers in that cave bit up there. Would you like me to get up there and point them out? You want me to get up there, babe? <laughs> Go for a run up there. Oh, don't trip. Can you get me one? No, don't pick it. Those ones there, Dad. Is that worth it or what? <laughs> How's the view? Yeah, show us the view. Catch. Catch, babe. You're very coordinated. You'll never drop this. Got it. Ella said he wants to come up. Nah, stay down there, mate. You're coming down now. This okay. is amazing. You need to come up and see if I don't And uh, that's what I was talking about. This reminds me of... Not my finger, I promise. Whoa! Check that out. Oh. That's gnarly. It's even like being undercut. I mean an uppercut. 
Uppercut, undercut. Come on, boys. Come on, girls. Here's a look again. Come on, boys. Come on, Dad. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'll give the instructions around here. Come on, Mama. <laughs> Go running. Look at us, look under here. What is it, boys? Oh, is it a lizard? Is it a lizard? No, nah, it's a big cave. It goes back in there. Get me? Get you? No, nah, it won't get you. It's not going to get you. <laughs> There's nothing even there. Before. There's nothing in there, mate, except for maybe spiders and lizards. And mum's bottle water rolling down the hill. Hey babe, look up. <laughs> yeah, down low, low, up top. Look how far up that is. It's so scary. And all those rocks look like they're about to fall. Well, I was just saying to Evie, these rocks down here have fallen at some point in time. Like today could be the day that the next rock falls. <laughs> I'm not a pessimist, but today could be the day. So let's walk faster. Hang on, Wilder, everyone, Wilder wants to get down. <laughs> Study down at the most precarious spot there is. Yeah, the floor is lava. Down the stairs, ready? Hop, 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 hop. I'm good. <laughs> How good is this for our kids? It's good for us too. Yeah, it is actually. It's good for the soul. Yeah, it's been a very, very nice walk. Oh. <laughs> kids off over Ed. He's right, play He's on. Tough. He's got skin off both knees. We're on the home stretch now. We're gonna go, uh, that other walk will look pretty hectic as well, but I reckon we'll only do half of that because kids need naps. Yeah, I think I might need a nap too. <laughs> yeah, we're on it. Uh, whoa, that's a deep one, look, Dad. Oh. Hey, you gotta get water in your socks. Yeah. You don't care, do you? Yeah. We're gonna stuff the hard way, Dad. Dad, Dad. Whoa. <laughs> hey, that's the second time you slipped on that. Go in that one, that one's deep enough to cover your head. <laughs> We can't catch up. All right, off you go then. Put my leg too hard. What's happened? Put my leg too hard. Your legs are getting sore, are they? <laughs> oh, would you like me to carry you? No, I gotta work. I reckon you could make it the rest of the way, what do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, yeah? Please. I can hold your hand again if you want. Can I please put it back on and yep. run with this? Sure. Oh, why can't go down there? Do your big jump, go. No, Dad doing it way. <laughs> he is too, yeah. <sighs> go, jump. No, I don't want All to. Alright, I'll hold your hand while you jump. <sighs> All good? Alright, we're off. Let's go nice and fast now. Alright guys, that's it for this week. We're about to do something completely crazy and you're probably going to have to tune in next week to see it. But uh, this is possibly the tightest off-road track that we've ever tried to tow our caravan through. We'll see how it goes. It's meant to be a shortcut. <laughs> we'll see. Alright guys, see you next week. Holy hell dad. Holy hell dad. Alright, we're on an angle. Stop, stop, stop! You're about to tip. So I'm just lying down here. You could run faster than that, couldn't you, Dad? That's what I'm saying. I could power walk faster than that. <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> <Good. laughs> <laughs> Is it power walking? How did that become an Olympic sport? Seriously. <laughs> it's funny to watch. <laughs> Human beings are banned from making any more sports because that's just ridiculous. I don't go. Babe, 
Do you want to introduce us to where we are? Welcome to Ormiston Gorge. We're not in Ormiston Gorge. <laughs> <laughs> We're near Ormiston Gorge. We're 50k away from Ormiston Gorge. Welcome to 50k away from Recording the wild giddy. It's raining. It's not raining, it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> <laughs>